Okay, so now we will be discussing about uh, charge division theorem for capacitors connected in parallel. Okay, so to start this discussion, so we will be um, writing the writing a circuit in which we have two parallel connected capacitors. So this will be our C2, this is C1, we have here our E, then let's draw the charge, so this is our QT, this will be our Q1, and this will be our Q2. Of course, we will have still the voltages across each capacitor. This is E1 and this is E2. So, the charge division theorem for capacitors connected in parallel is only applicable to two parallel connected capacitors so for example if you have uh, three connected capacitors so you must, you must find a way in order for that capacitor to or in order for that combination to be reduced into only two uh, connected parallel capacitors so maybe you will get the capacitance of the two the total capacitance or the equivalent capacitance of the two capacitors then you connect that one in parallel with the uh, other capacitor okay so let's see if we can have the we can solve for q1 so by using the charge division theorem so solving for q1 so that is the cap the charge at branch one okay so we have that one as qt qt then we would multiply uh, QT with the capacitance at uh, the, the capacitance or the value of the capacitor at uh, the, the branch in which Q1 is flowing. So that is C1. Have over C1 plus C2. Two. That is for Q1. Now for Q3, a QT Q2, so this is equal to QT times same. So the capacitance in which the in which Q2 is flowing, so that is C2 over C1 plus C2 and, that's, and that is now the two formulas for charge division theorem. Okay, to illustrate this, this formula or to apply this concept, so we'll be solving problems. Okay, so we have here the problem sample problem find the charge on a 20 microfarad cap capacitor if it is connected in parallel to a 10 microfarad capacitor and the combination is supplied by a 30 volt source okay so let's do first the equivalent circuit for that so we have here the capacitor at uh, the source then we have two capacitors so 
so they are connected in parallel so this will be uh, let's use another color so this will be the uh, let's have this one as the 10 microfarad capacitor so the arrangement of cap uh, capacitor does not affect the solution so I I just like to put the 20 microfarad capacitor on the rightmost part of the circuit okay so this is our E so our E is equal to 200 volts so we have here the oh, okay so it is 200 not 200 but 300 sorry for that 300 volts then we have our C1 this is our C1 this is our C2 so this will be our Q2 and this will be our Q1 and in here will be the total charge Q so we are required to solve for the charge of the 20 microfarad capacitor. So in the circuit, that will be Q2. Okay. So by using the um, charge division theorem for connected parallel connected capacitor, so Q2 is equal to QT. So the Q2 is flowing at capacitor C2. So that is C2 over c1 plus c2 so we need first to find qt or the total charge so we have our c2 20 microfarad we have our c1 10 microfarad so our qt is um, still to be solved so that we could uh, have all the the requirements on the formula or the equation so solving for qt so from the previous topic so qt is equal to e times c t and c t so let's just have that one here c t is equal to c1 plus c2 that is for parallel connected capacitor so we have 10 micro farad plus 20 micro farad we will be then we'll solve for our so using our calculator so we have 10 negative 6 plus 20 microfarad so we have 30 microfarad this is 30 microfarad then we will substitute this one to this formula so we substitute our total capacitance for us to get our total charge so our E is 300 volts times the total capacitance which is 30 micro farad okay that this is equal to so again our calculator so this is equal to 300 times 30 micro so this is equal to 9 milli column so we have 9 milli column and this is our total charge so we will substitute that one here so total charge is 9 milli column the capacitance is 20 microfarad over our 
um, C1 is 10 microfarad and our C2 is 20 microfarad okay so solving now for our Q2 So we have 9 milli times 20 micro over 10 micro plus 20 micro. Okay, this will be equal to 6 milli column. So we have 6 milli column and this is now our answer for the required in the problem so if we're going to go a step further for example we are going to solve for q1 so we could use the the one of the property of a parallel connected capacitor in which the total charge is equal to Q1 or the sum of the charges on the branches no? so Q2 so we we could solve for Q1 so Q1 so basic algebraic manipulation that will be QT minus Q2 so this will be equal to 9 milli column minus 6 milli column or equal to 9 minus 6 so that is 3 milli column so that is going a step further or we could use the formula for um, the, the formula using the uh, charge division theorem so we could let's see if we have we will be having the same pro, the same answer the same, the same answer so we have q1 Let's, ha let's write that one in a uh, different ink. So let's have green. So Q1 is equal to QT. So the charge Q1 is flowing at the C1 capacitor. So C1 over C1 plus C2. So we have, so QT is 9 milli column c1 is 10 microfarad over oops, all over 10 microfarad plus 20 microfarad okay so we'll use now our calculator so we have 9 milli column plus 10 uh, plus not plus but times multiply by 10 microfarad divided by 10 microfarad plus 20 microfarad so we will have 3 milli column so our answer will be 3 milli column and we have the same answer for this formula okay so that is how we are going to use charge division theorem for parallel connected capacitors